Hello everyone and welcome to ProgrammingVideoToots.com Today's pretty exciting because we're going to start our Visual Basic.net section and the new Visual Basic 2010 beta edition is out now so that's pretty cool. Alright, the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and go to Microsoft.com slash Visual Studio and then you want to click try it download the beta now start your download save your file and then that's going to give you this exe you're going to want to run this exe and then and microsoft has a nice little installation wizard for you so just go through that step by step and then pause the video and come back and we'll finish the lesson alright I assume you guys are back now so let's open up Visual Studios get this in your window here alright this is pretty cool it's got a new startup layout looks a little better a little more slick alright go to file new project you're gonna wanna make sure Visual Basic is selected here and Windows Form Application Then name your program it's a good idea to name your program so you know when you go back and you have 20 programs you know what's what so I'm gonna name this program hello world click OK alright and that brings us to this screen we have a form here this is what people see so that's pretty cool this is already a program we could run this and the form would pop up alright over here you hover over this you got a toolbox you can pin it down it'll move this over you got a solution explorer this right here shows you your projects your projects and uh... the files in it and you got properties pin this down and it'll go down here alright let me move this over a little bit alright the first thing we're gonna do is add a button so you go over here to your toolbox and drag a button out it down onto your form let's make it a little bigger so everyone can see and we're gonna go up to the top of our properties here make sure you got this A to Z selected we're gonna name our button run so we're gonna type BTN run see here how I have a lowercase letter for the first word and then an uppercase letter this is called camel notation or Hungarian notation it's just kind of convention it makes your code easier for other programmers to read it makes you it's easier to remember what your buttons are called and your other objects are called and it's also good for the IntelliSense which we'll see a little bit later in the video we're gonna go down here to text because we want to add some text to this button so it's not just doesn't just say button one we're just gonna call it run and now our button says run alright now we need some somewhere to output some information so we're gonna drag a list box out of our toolbox
make it a little bigger all right now we can start writing some code so double click your button and this brings us to the section of code for our button or for our form and this is the, this part right here is for our button visual basic is pretty event driven so what that means is when this button button run that we name button run is clicked whatever is inside this is going to be executed the code will be ran so we're going to put the name of our list box actually we didn't rename our list box did we so go back to your form one design click on your list box open up your properties and rename your list box to LST output you know it's a good idea to name your stuff like this I'm not the only I didn't invent this I'm not the only one who does this it's just a good idea to do it alright we're gonna go back to our button code now when I type LST the IntelliSense can find it before I was like where did it go so we can just press tab or click this and it'll finish it for us alright now we're gonna wanna put dot items dot add parentheses double quotes hello world alright we're gonna wanna close this with another double quotes and a parentheses all right now we got our first line of code this tells tells our program when our button is clicked to tell the list box to add this string a string is just a data type that contains any kind of characters you can put whatever you want in here and these quotations say that this is a string to the visual basic to the dotnet compiler alright now let's see if this program works let's go up here to start debugging which w this play button it'll run our program and compile it alright hello world welcome to visual basic well that's pretty cool we got a button and some output that's our first visual basic program next time we'll get more into strings and other variables and how they work so come back to and take a look at our next lesson and I hope you enjoyed it